welcome to Victorian Gardens Cattery and we're in the toddler room and we've got four litters in here right now yep four litters I had to count to make sure um we've got there's Cosmos she's my beautiful chocolate Persian and Holly a chocolate point Himalayan and we got their babies inside a fence. They came down, um, I think at the beginning. They've probably been in here less than a week. They're doing really well. Let me introduce you to everybody. This is Cosmos's beautiful <laughs> um, blue and white Persian. She was taking a nap. They've been taking a nap. So they probably need to get up. They've been sleeping all day, which is normal. But she's been sleeping on that bed. And then this is, well, if Holly will let move a little bit. This is Holly's little girl. And she's, I'm going to get her out. She's gorgeous. She's a lilac cream. Ashley. If you look at her paws, they're all white at the ends. So she's really a very rare lilac calico. But she's got um, a lot of cream on her face. I don't know if it's going to show up in this light, but you can see her. Whoops. You can see her um, photo shoot from this past week, and you'll be able to see her colors better. And then. Let me see, I have one little boy. Where is he? He's my little sweetheart. Um, he's going to be, here he is, coming out the other side. He's a Sail Point Himalayan. And he's a sweetheart. He doesn't have his dad's personality. He has his mom's personality. He loves being held. Doesn't fuss at all. And we're going to keep him as his dad's replacement. So he can breed. He actually can breed to three of my girls. One of them is Holly. Right there. And then he can breed to Hydrangea. Somebody's biting my toe. And then on this side of the fence, we have our first calico named Poppy. And she got a bath yesterday. She's got a huge, huge coat on her. I mean, huge coat. She does have her dad's toys personality. And here comes her sister. So I'm having to... Here's your sister, who's a bicolor Hemi. Really sweet. Her name is Princess Plum. And she always walks with her tail up. Princess Plum. I need to get, um, I know what'll, what'll drive them out. They've been sleeping too, so everybody's kind of sleepy right now. So we have a new toy. Um, this is Princess Plum's mom. This is Periwinkle. She loves to play too. Yeah, you guys, let's go over here a little way so everybody can see you. Princess Plum. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over having, um, I worked, I, I helped, I volunteered, um, mudding out homes in New Bern where they had the, um, that hurricane flooding and I got black mold in my lungs so I have been having to deal with that it's not fun I lost my voice so that's why there's been no videos but I'm gaining it back very slowly <laughs> so these these girls love to play now Poppy's a little shy her mom isn't. 
This is their these girls' moms right here. And then somewhere in here, there she comes. This is Cosmos's blue and white. Look at the two blue and whites looking at each other. This is Cosmos blue and white girl, uh, blue delphinium. She was going to stay as a breeder. And um, this is her mommy right here. And, and that's her, that's um, her two, Cosmos's two babies. And then that's her, for her from her last litter. <coughs> and um, she's been sleeping. She got a bath today. She's um, been teething. And so a lot of times when they tee, they, their eyes tear. So we had to work on her tear stains on her face. But she's going to be available. We, um, I did a program. I didn't do the program. I inputted the information on all my lines like eight generations of my lines, all the lines. Oh, Poppy, has, Poppy doesn't know who she is. So Poppy's having a little fit there. <laughs> um, to see who she could breed with, who all the girls could breed with. And unfortunately, Delphinium is related to every single one of my boys. So her what is called a coefficiency rate. Uh-oh. I hear Poppy growling. I just brought Delphinium in for the video. Delphinium! She's a sweetheart. She won't do anything. Anyway, um, her, her rate of inbreeding would be too high to breed her to any of my boys. And she can't be bred to this little boy when he grows up because that's really her brother. So she's up for adoption. And we have already talked to or are talking to one of the people on our wait list. So we'll know. I'll know. Uh, Holly. Holly. Be nice. Holly's very protective of her babies. And she doesn't know. Delphinium. It's okay, Holly. It's okay. Cosmos, that's your baby. Anyway, um, both girls are looking. Anyway, so we're going to have to let her be adopted, and I'm really sad about that because she's a beautiful girl and so, so sweet. Just a really sweet little girl. Beautiful. You can see her videos. Just look back on Cosmos's videos from her last litter. Uh, Delphinium has one all by herself when she was a little baby. I think she was probably only three weeks old, maybe four weeks old. Uh, really cute video. <laughs> He's my eater. So, um, and there's, there's, I don't know if I can get a really good picture of um, Holly's baby is adorable. And everybody knows Holly. Loves to wrap her arms around her babies. I came in late earlier today and Holly was laying in the bed. Holly laying in the bed with two of the babies and had her arms around both of them. It was so cute. But um, they, these three get along great. Um, They've been blended together for about a little over a week. Holly, be nice. I need to get Delphinium out of here. I've got some mothers that are very protective. Now Periwinkle's gotten in the protective mode. So we're going to say goodbye. <coughs> but I wanted to give an update. It's been a while. Everybody. Everybody's getting bigger. Um, it's been cold here in North Carolina. So we've had the heaters running and everybody's been snuggling in their beds and sleeping more because 
it's a little bit colder and it gets dark so soon now so we're gonna say goodbye for now again this is California Poppy Princess Plum <coughs> these babies don't have names but they're Holly and Cosmos's babies whoops this is this little girl looks a lot like Delphinium and this is the boy we're going to keep as a breeder. He's so sweet. I mean, really sweet, sweet, sweet boy. And her little girl over there, gorgeous little rare lilac calico. So we'll say goodbye for now from the Victorian Gardens Cattery and the toddler room at the Cattery. Let me see if I can get a close up of her playing. So beautiful. <laughs> okay. Bye for now.